Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up VS Codium so it has the look and feel of Sublime Text. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to set up and install software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So this is VS Codium with an HTML file open and one thing you'll notice the difference between Sublime Text and VS Code is VS Code, the UI, is a bit more busy. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the activity bar. And while Sublime Text does have a status bar, we'll get rid of that as well to kind of clean up the UI. We'll keep the minimap. Um, you can get rid of that, but Sublime Text does have that minimap, so we're going to keep that. Okay, so I'm going to do Control-Shift-P, and I'm going to type in activity and I get this option to toggle the activity bar visibility. I'm going to press enter and that's going to get rid of my activity bar. I'm going to do control shift P again to bring up the command palette and I'm going to type in status and one of the options is toggle, toggle status bar visibility. I'm going to press enter to get rid of the status bar. Okay so the UI is looking a bit more minimal. The theme however is the VS Code default theme and I would like something that looks a bit more like Sublime. I'd also like the key map to be more like Sublime. So what I'm going to do is do Control Shift X to bring up my extensions. And I'm going to search for Sublime. And the very first thing that comes up will be the key map. I'm going to install that package. All right, so we'll close that out. And then the next thing I'll do is install this next package, which is Sublime VS Code Theme. I'll click install there and I'm going to set the color theme to be sublime VS code theme okay I'll do control shift E to bring up my file explorer bring back my index.html file and I can close the sidebar now with control K control B which is a sublime text keyboard shortcut so now we have those keyboard shortcuts we have the look and feel of sublime text and we're good to go. Uh, one more thing you might want to check is to bring up the settings and check the tab size here. Uh, Sublime Text does have a tab size of four, just make sure it's the same. And yeah, you have VS Codium looking and feeling like Sublime Text. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like as it will help out the video a lot. Thank you. 